Hey, what is going on guys over here on Frenzy channel today? It's your boy legit plays and I'm gonna be doing today's commentary for you guys So what we got in the background is actually insane gameplay man. It's a FFA just a crazy gameplay man. He gets a FFA 44 magma pistol Moab I mean just all that you know trying to comprehend that will leave you startled and just leave you just Wow Honestly, it's a pretty impressive gameplay in my opinion. FFA Moabs are extremely hard to get. And then he does it with a pistol. And not just any pistol. The Magma. The Magma is a really hard pistol to use because the kick is really not really that great. And I think this is a really impressive Moab. So if you are new to Frenzy's channel and you want to see more gameplays like this, remember to subscribe, man. I know he's going to be pumping every single day with crazy moab gameplays and stuff like that now before i get into my commentary i did have something to announce to you guys frenzy asked me to tell you guys but when this gameplay goes up the 1k face reveal will be up a few days after i repeat the face reveal will be uploaded a few days after this video goes up so be excited, be happy, be ecstatic, because you're gonna see the man, the myth, the legend, Frenzy's face very soon. All right, now that I got that off the way, I just wanna get into my commentary today. Now, I feel like this is a really funny story that a lot of people are gonna laugh to, but I'm basically gonna talk about how a kid got knocked out after school. And I did tell a story on my channel, so if you are like watching and wanna hear my version of it in you know a cut calm form then go ahead go check me out in the description below i believe i'm at probably 460 subscribers so you know go check me out if you do enjoy all right so basically how this story starts we were all playing basketball in pe and we we're all having a good time hooping it up with the squad the homies and stuff like that and the end of pe came around and we we're like you know what we're just having a good time let's stay a few more hours it's friday you know who's gonna do homework on a friday anyway so we we're like you know what yolo we don't have nothing to do we started playing some more then one of the kids around school he's not really well known i'm not saying he's a stranger because you know we know his name we know about him or whatever but he's not really we're not really that cool with him or whatever he comes up and my friend's playing he's like yo dude i could borrow your phone uh, i need to call my mom to pick me up or whatever all right my friend's like sure go ahead it's in my um pocket because you know we take off the school pants and the gym shorts whatever and i'm watching this kid because i really don't know him i don't trust him you know so i'm watching him like hawking him down and you know he's at he's using the phone or whatever my friend says, you know, I got to use the bathroom, bro. I'll be back. So I get in the game for him and, you know, I'm playing for him. Now, mind you, I can't play and watch this dude like a hawk at the same time. So I'm playing and nobody's able to watch him. He uses the phone and we're really into this game, man. It was a really good game. And he walks off with the phone and I'm like, oh my God, we have to beat this kid's ass, man. So basically what he said before he left, he's like, yo, um, where's your friend at? I'm like, oh, he went to the bathroom and he'll be back soon. He's like, well, I got to go. But, you know, I do know where he lives. He lives literally like two houses down from me. So I'll go drop off the phone. So this dude walks off the court with the phone and I'm like, oh, hell no. Nah. But, you know, I kind of trusted him because, you know, my friend was really cool with him. So I can kind of feel like. Yeah, he's probably not lying there, but man, this is where it gets so much better. So it's probably, I believe, 4.30 at night, excuse me, 4.30 in the afternoon, and you know, we're done playing. We get out of school around 2.20, so we're playing two extra hours after PE. So we're super tired, and we're ready to go. My friend comes back. He says he was, what you call it, he went up to the uh, class to get some extra credit work done and stuff like that. So... He comes back. He's like, yo, dude, where's my phone? And I'm like, oh, yeah, that kid that you say you could like, borrow your phone. Um, He actually said, yeah, uh, you live like two houses down from him. And he's like, oh, my God, where that kid is at? I'm going to knock his teeth in. I'm like, oh, my God, this sa a savage moment has been started up. I'm like, oh, my God, this kid is about to get his teeth knocked in. We're all, you know, going to go go on him and shit like that for lying to us or whatever. So we go find a kid. He's in a back court where nobody goes to because those the court is absolutely terrible. 
The nets are all rotted and dry rotted and just ugly. The core is all cracked up and just bad. The backboard even is so old and stuff. Nobody really goes there. So he's over there just chilling and stuff. And I'm like, where's the phone? Where's the phone? He's like, I don't know. I lost it. I lost it. I lost it. I'm like, stop the bullshit. You know you're lying, man. You lied about, you know, you knowing my friend that good and you know, you live down the street from him. You're probably lying about losing it too. So we tell him you got 10 seconds. No, literally, my friend said you have 10 seconds to make my phone appear and or I'll knock you out. So basically, he just sat there, you know, just crying, pleading, no, please, I don't know where it's at, I don't know where it's at. And, you know, we know he was lying, man. We just knew he was lying. So my friend just swings on him and just, like, rocks him. And then he goes for a scoop slam. He actually scooped him on the floor and just started punching him, like, eight more times. It, it was all over from there, man. I had to come in and step out. But as I'm going in, my friend gets a few more licks in, and the dude's out cold, literally, like, out cold on some Steve Austin stunner type, you know, shit like that, bro. And I was like, oh my god, this kid just got knocked out. I really wish we were able to record, but nobody really, you know, had a phone. And it'll kind of be weird, you know, recording a fight over a phone with a phone. You can't, it's kind of weird. But, you know, basically, that's the uh, story, guys. You know, the guy got his ass completely knocked the fuck out. Like, oh my god, this dude was just out cold man and we're trying to wake him up and shit because you're not just going to leave a kid out cold but we woke him up and you know he got the phone out the pocket and basically that's the story guys hopefully you did enjoy here goes the moab right now um i'll see you guys basically in the next one uh peace